Welcome back. So let's have a look at the code. Now, let's start out by just talking about what we are actually writing here. For those who are used to pure JavaScript, you'll notice this is not pure JavaScript. It's actually another a JavaScript, uh, the new guy of JavaScript called ECMAScript 6. And it has a lot of new features. I'm not going to run over all of them. I just want you guys to understand that just like JSON had BSON, right? We also have JavaScript that has ECMAScript now that is a more powerful version of JavaScript. So this is actually what we call ECMAScript 6, what we have right here. And the browser is starting to understand more and more about ECMAScript. But right now, we, we are kind of we are writing some code that's going to be converted into pure JavaScript later. I don't want to dive into that. I just want you guys to understand that this is not JavaScript, even though I reference it as JavaScript. It's actually ECMAScript 6 with a couple of new features like we can write constant here just to uh, specify that we have something that is constant it's not going to change ever in the code later on it's going to stay the same we have something called required here meaning that we can pull in libraries from Node.js and in this case it's an HTTP library now I'll dive more into this but for this lesson I just want you guys to understand this is not pure JavaScript this is actually something called ECMAScript 6 that we are writing in the code so let's dive into what we're actually doing here in the next lesson